let me show you something very interesting here if you look at the last question that is 23 into 17 what we have done here is 23 taken 20 times and then returned three times now that's a simple procedure we can take it 20 times we get 460 then return it three times that is 69 so 460 minus 69 will give us 391 but if you are a smart student the same question can also be answered in a much better way now before I tell that method to you let me just find out how many of you know that a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared now this is one very simple algebraic formula that we have learned in our high school a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared or a minus b into a plus b equals to a squared minus b squared I believe that all of you know this formula yes or no yes but remember simply knowing the formula is not enough you should be in a position to apply it properly for example if you look at the last question here 23 into 17 what we have done is we have taken 17 as 20 minus 3 at the same time if you take 23 as 20 plus 3 this question will be in the form of 20 plus 3 into 20 minus 3 so 23 into 17 is as good as 20 plus 3 into 20 minus 3 which is quite similar to the form of a plus b into a minus b so the answer here should be a squared minus b squared where a is equal to 20 and b equals to 3 so 20 squared minus 3 squared that is 400 minus 9 which is equal to 391 so friends try to be smart and use this concept of a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square wherever possible now the point to be observed here is in this particular question whether we go for split and merge or we use a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square doesn't matter why because that's a simple question so in both the ways it is going to take almost the same time but then for difficult questions where going by split and merge is not so easy applying a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square will really help us get the answer faster so let us take a few more examples to understand the application of this particular formula for example let's say the question is 83 into 97 now if you look at the question it appears to be difficult and going by split and merge is not so easy but then if you get the right idea that is a plus b into a minus b application this question can be answered in just two to three seconds so 83 here can be taken as 90 minus 7 into 97 can be taken as 90 plus 7 so if you look at it it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b for both the cases answer has to be a squared minus b squared so here it will be 90 squared minus 7 squared we know that 90 square is 8100 and 7 square is 49 so 8100 minus 49 will be equal to 8051 so that is how we can solve a difficult question like 83 into 97 simply by using a plus b into a minus b equals to a squared minus b squared let us take a few more examples now for example 46 into 54 now if you observe this is 50 minus 4 and this one is 50 plus 4 so the answer should be 50 squared minus 4 squared 2500 minus 16 that should be equal to 2484 similarly 74 into 86 now this is like 80 minus 6 80 plus 6 so 80 squared minus 6 squared 80 squared is 6400 minus 6 squared is 36 so 6400 minus 36 will be equal to 6364 similarly if the question is 23 into 29 it can be taken as 26 minus 3 into 26 plus 3 that is 26 squared minus 3 squared we know that 26 square is 676 and 3 square is 9 so 676 minus 9 will be equal to 667 so as you can see from these various examples when the question is a simple one like 23 into 17 whether we go for split and merge or we use the formula a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square doesn't matter why because both the methods here will take almost the same time but as in when the numbers grow large for example in case of 83 and 97 similarly 74 into 86 or 46 into 54 going for split and merge may become a little difficult 
So here, if you are able to apply the formula, the answer can be obtained in just two to three seconds. But the only point to be understood here is you should be able to decide whether a plus b into a minus b is applicable or not. Why? Because though it is easy, it is not applicable always. For example, if the question is 46 into 49, if you look at this, going by split and merge is easy. But a plus b into a minus b is not so easy. Why? Because this is something like 47.5 minus 1.5 and 47.5 plus 1.5. So that really becomes a very difficult one if you use it as a square minus b square. That is 47.5 square minus 1.5 square. So here it would be better that you follow split and merge. That is 46 should be taken 49 times. Don't take it 49 times. Take it 50 times, give it back one time. 46 into 50 is nothing but 46 into 5 into 10. 46 into 5 is 230 into 10 is 2300. That means 46 when we take 50 times, we get 2300. But because we have taken it one time extra, we have to give it back. So 2300 minus 46 will give the required answer. That is equal to 2254. So depending on the question, either you can apply split and merge or go for this second method. That is a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square to solve simple questions. So friends, this clearly shows that if you think creatively, even very trivial formulae like a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square can help us solve some questions really very fast. So try to be smart and get the answers as quickly as possible. So friends, having learned how to use the formula a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square, let's see how quickly can you get the answers for these five questions. And your time starts now. So let us now see what are the correct answers for these five questions. Now the first one here is 24 into 36. This can be taken as 30 plus 6 into 30 minus 6. 30 squared minus 6 squared. 900 minus 36 is 864. Now the second one here is 70 plus 2 into 70 minus 2. That's like 70 squared minus 2 squared. So 4900 minus 4 is 4896. The next one here is 41 into 44. Now 41 into 44 cannot be taken in the form of a plus b into a minus b. That is the reason here we need to get the answer with the help of split and merge. That's like 41 is taken 44 times. So take it 40 times and then take it 4 times. 41 into 4 is 164. So 41 into 40 will be 1640. So 41 taken 40 times is 1640 and taken 4 times is 164. 1640 plus 164 will be 1804, 18 not 4. Now you might be wondering when a plus b into a minus b is not applicable, why was this question given along with the set? The point to be understood is you should be able to decide and apply where a plus b into a minus b is applicable and where it is not. So if I give you all the questions which are based on a plus b into a minus b, then there is no fun of taking a test. So remember, it's all about getting the right idea at the right time. So you should practice enough so that as soon as you see the numbers, you get the right idea. That is, which is the best way to get the answer in the least possible time. Now one point which I would like to mention here is how to decide whether a plus b into a minus b is applicable or not. The simple point here is the formula a plus b into a minus b is applicable if and only if the difference between the two numbers is even. For example, 24 and 36, the difference is 12. So that's an even number. Hence, I can go for a plus b into a minus b. Similarly, 72 and 68, the difference is 4. So a plus b into a minus b is possible. But when it comes to 41 and 44, the difference is just 3. So if you try to take this as a plus b into a minus b, you will get something in decimal and hence it becomes a complicated calculation. So never apply a plus b into a minus b for something where the difference between the two numbers is an odd number. The next one here is 61 into 69. Now the difference between these two numbers is 8, which is e1. So I can go for a plus b into a minus b. 
So that's like 65 plus 4 and 65 minus 4. So the answer should be 65 squared minus 4 squared. But again the problem is how should we find out what is 65 squared? That we shall learn at a later point of time. As of now, you simply remember that 65 square is 4225. And let me tell you friends, finding out squares of numbers ending with 5 is a very simple task. Anyway, we shall discuss that at a later point of time. Let's move on with 65 square as 4225. So 4225 minus 16, that is 4 square, will be equal to 4209. So that's the answer for question number 4. And the last one here is 21 into 18. I can understand that a plus b into a minus b is not applicable because the difference is 3, which is odd. So let's go for split and merge. 18, take it 20 times and then take it one more time. So 18 taken 20 times is 360 and 18 taken one time is 18. 360 plus 18 is 378. So that's the answer for the last one here. So this is how you can solve questions based on either split and merge or a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So try to be smart, practice well on these techniques and use them efficiently.